the I don't really know the when it really started because it was just it was such a slow I don't know what I'm doing like for the first like three years I was just like oh I'll just I'll just like make stuff you know and but it turning into like an, an entire skateboard company like that had to change I had to like bring in people that like knew what knew how to do this um to do it uh like properly but it was just like an art project for a really long time what do you mean by by properly uh, running a skate company like someone who uh like i'm just talking about in terms of like logistically i'm just talking about like calendars how merchandising like how much to make uh where to make it um you know uh just all, like the marketing aspects, all that stuff, all those things I, I was doing in the beginning by myself and I would just try to like intuitively do it. And I made a lot of mistakes, but like I, I work with people that like know how to do that. So um, that's what I mean by properly, you know, because I think like a lot of skateboard companies, they're awesome and they are fun and creative and it's a bunch of friends, but maybe, and everybody loves it, but maybe like on like a, on the business side, like it's, it's totally chaotic. And so I, I just try to, I, and I'm like, you know, business, I hate it. It's, you know, it's kind of like, it's, it's just very frustrating for me, but I like that I can have a business that like supports skateboarders and I can support me and my ideas. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just sort of figured it out. Yeah. In terms of supporting you and your ideas, um, what do you, what do you, what do you want out of, out of um, sci-fi versus like where you're at now. And then when you started, did you want one thing and now your view of it has changed because you've probably been learning shit for the past five years and experimenting with shit. And like, even just like changing as a human being naturally, even if it's only a little bit, um, that's going to reflect in like, I guess your art project, you know? So, um, you know, in the beginning, I just wanted something to do because I, I sort of like quit all my sponsors or got kicked off and then was sort of like really disillusioned with being a pro skater. Plus, I'd been a pro skater since I was 16. It was like my entire identity for my entire li uh, adult life. And I just had kind of like, a, you know, I just had like a little small meltdown and it was just like, I can't, I don't want to do this right now. It's like not, I'm very unhappy. So I just didn't do anything for like a year. And then um, sci-fi was sort of just an art project. It was just sort of a fun it was like just like a fun thing to do um so i really had no plan it really happened because of the response i just saw like what was possible and that people seemed to really like it so it just sort of like pushed me to like slowly make it into a real thing you know like i made like 24 hats and i gave them away and that's how it started and i was like oh maybe, maybe i'll make t-shirts maybe i'll make hoodies maybe i'll make just like random stuff and so it just sort of like happened like that and now i've now that i've like sort of you know i've sort of <laughs> now i've like ended up in this place that i didn't really expect to do but now i like it because um it really is a challenge and it's a challenge to my uh like what i'm capable of doing and it's also and that's good because i like i like um i just like to it's nice to be challenged creatively and then kind of like get to the other side where you're like, I did it, you know, like I, I did something that I didn't really, uh, I didn't think I was good enough to do. And it's just, that's just sort of happens every time. Like every time I like make new stuff, I'm like, there's this like relief that comes where I'm just like, Oh, I did it. But the, uh, what I like about it is also with the team is like supporting skateboarders. And, um, uh, I really like that part because I never wanted to do that. I was like, Oh, like, you know, just being one myself, I was like, oh, this is, this looks like such a nightmare. But then it just slowly happened where like uh, I found myself on the other side of it being like, oh, wow, like now I'm here. And but it's nice to help people, I think. And it's nice and it's nice that uh, that people like it. I think there's like a there's something so special about that that I'm like so grateful for is like people really seem to like what I do. I'm sure there's a lot who don't, but uh, it's it's just nice when you make something and and people find a way to enjoy it yeah yeah no doubt especially you, you're putting so much time and energy into it and thought and it's kind of like a compilation of your entire life because it's kind of like everything that you are is affected by everything from the past and it's all led up to this is your vision of what you fuck with and now here it is so if people you know like that that's pretty sick 
Yeah, and you know what's funny is it's 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 not always, <laughs> and and like, and it's also like not always what you want it to be, which is like kind of crazy. It can be something that you don't want it to be, and then and it's it's better. And sometimes it's just like, oh wow, like that's, it's. I think like anyone who makes stuff understands that like, what you see like in in your mind is like and what actually happens is it's so it can be so devastating it's like photography too <laughs> it's like photography too because like i forget who said this but someone was like uh what you photograph is never what you see and that's i really believe in that like it's it, it really isn't it's not quite what you saw it's almost there but it's like never exactly what you saw and i sort of with all the graphics and everything i sort of feel the same way too it's like it's never like completely what you want um, and that has to do with so many variables like time and, um, like if you, if you wanted an artist to do something for you, like what they're capable of doing, how well you can direct them, their schedule. There's just like so many, I have to deal with so many variables like on a daily basis. Uh, and everybody does, but it does, but, it, but also I will say it's, it is just some, it's only something that I know, you know what I mean? Like when you, when you make something, there's always like your sort of like lone perspective where you're just like, oh, I wish I could have, I wish that was like a little, no one else will know, but you're just mm -hmm. like, I wish that it could have been a little bit better in this way. I think people view like, like skateboarding in that way too, where like, you know, people, if you do something and they're like, oh, that was, you know, that was amazing or whatever. But in your mind, you're like, yeah, but I know I could have done it better or differently or faster or I don't know. Maybe it's kind of a curse, but I think like it, but that sort of mentality, I think, makes you better well what i'll say is like what i try to do is i try to take everything that i've ever seen in my career and just sort of ruminate on it before i make any type of decision where like okay like what like f i first i would say first what i ask myself is like what what is the most fair decision you know and then i kind of go from there but um i think like in terms of like the numbers uh and i think like what you're really talking about is uh, the profit motive. Yeah. Um, that's difficult to balance with anyone who wants to be creative and honest. And so like as a skateboarder, like all the years that I've dealt with um, companies, you know, I've dealt with the small and I've dealt with the very large. And it's very frustrating because, uh, you know, like at the end of the day, um, a corporation or a company or whatever you want to call it it's made up of a lot of different people with a lot of different incentives and everybody is tr trying to kind of like fight for what they got to do and uh it a lot a lot in the uh like that can really hurt um how cool or creative a company is so like uh like as a pro skateboarder you know like um trying to do your ideas or trying to be who you are sometimes that doesn't that really doesn't line up with you know um person a b c d e at the company and it's very very frustrating but and but you can you know those people have like families they have like their incentives the shit that they need to take care of and um a lot gets lost and it's like super frustrating and i think for me i just try to keep keep it small that's sort of like the that is the simplest philosophy for me is like uh slow just be slow and like not try to explode i think that's like kind of like every every person every friend of mine or every person i've ever seen try to do this um that's been the one thing that sort of gets them in the end is like they just they want too much too quickly and um you know it's but it's hard. It's like, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't say I do everything right. Um, but, uh, it is really, really hard to deal with companies. I really hate it. I really, as e now doing what I do and also even as a pro skateboarder, because, uh, you know, I just, I just really wanted to do my ideas and I wanted to be who I was. And that, and, um, that didn't always, uh, that just didn't always land well, you yeah. know, when it, when it comes to like a bunch of people who sometimes like don't skate at all, you know, they like companies like America, you know, they'll, they'll just every three years, they'll just hire someone to come in, audit the whole company. And then like, it doesn't, their choices, they just look at what's on paper, you know, the, their choices aren't like, 
based on um, like how like a pro skater is perceived in skateboarding. You know, it's just like oh, they're like we're paying them this much and they're only doing this, and you know, it's just it's it's really black and white. So that's tough to deal with. And that just comes with growing, right? Like that would just come naturally with growing when you're if you're a skater and you're a skater owned and operated company, and you go and and you're trying to grow to this level and involve some venture capitalists, involve some people who are going to throw some bread to to make these crazy moves you at the end of the day like if you unless you're an expert in business or some shit you're just a skateboarder like you don't know about the shit you hire these people who don't know about your side of the shit maybe they don't listen to you as much because in their minds you don't have credentials and then before you know it the creation that was is like no longer yeah i think like uh definitely the uh when people throw around skater owned i think that's always so funny because like you know Soltech, which is the America, that's technically skater owned because the owner skates or used to skate. But like, I mean, they're business people. And I think there's there's like a boiling frog sort of thing going on where like in order to have a very successful and aggressive business, like I think over time you need to change. You need to like you need to make decisions that will slowly kind of uh, challenge your principles. You know what I mean? Like as a non-business person, like like I have to make decisions all the time that are like kind of shitty to me where I'm just like, "Mm, I I wish I didn't have to do that. But, Mm. but I do. And I think like at a certain level when there's like a lot of money involved, there's like livelihoods involved and all that stuff, like people over time will just change. It doesn't really matter if you started out as a skateboarder, 